Welcome aspiring data scientists and welcome future Python programmers. Today we have a very, very close look at variables. And variables are very, very important in Python, so pay attention now. In the previous class, we already had a look at the print statement and how we can use the hashtag in Python. After that, we used Python as a calculator and we also got to know the arithmetic operators. The key topics of today are first of all variables and what they are, how you can use them, then how we can assign data to a variable and then some certain principles or rules of naming those variables. First, the definition to variable. A variable is a name of the memory location where data or information is stored. Once a variable is stored, the space is allocated in memory. It defines a variable using a combination of numbers, letters, and the underscore character. So in short, we could say that a variable is always a storage unit where you can put in whatever you would like to, um, to put in. So here in our example, we have three different variables or storage units. And each time, one time we store five, one time we store nine, and one time we store the word easy in it. And every time we access this storage unit or variable again, we will every time we will get the same output. So here, if we use the print statement on our three different variables, our output will be five, nine, and easy because that is exactly what is stored in our variable. So variables are very nice if you have very, very long co codes and you want to store certain information, you can always store them in different variables and use them to uh, make some kind of interconnectedness between those variables and in the end to actually get to your goal. So how can we assign data or information to a variable? It's very easy. Just first on the left hand side, you define the variable name or we could say the storage unit name. And on the right hand side, you actually decide what you want to put in. So in this case, we stored the number 420 in N. If you want to delete a variable because you don't need it anymore or it actually makes your code worse, then you can just use the delete function. It's called DEL. And then you apply it to whatever, whatever variable you want to apply it to. So in this case, I write deal and then get underscore out of here is my variable that will be deleted. And if we delete it, we can also see here below that this variable does not exist anymore. So there are some certain rules and principles to naming variables. Overall, we can say that consistency style and adhering to variable naming rules ensures that you can create an excellent and reliable name of your variable to use both for today and the future and to use for yourself and also for other people. So principles. First of all, a variable name must be a single word. word. No space is allowed. So always when you have a space, just use an underscore. There, rule number two, variable names only can contain numbers, letters, or underscores. So again, stick to the rule. If you have your variable apple box, call it apple underscore box. Don't use a space. Number three, the first letter of a variable cannot be a number. Basically, just don't put a number in the beginning of your variable name. Don't use reserved words as your variable name. Reserved words, we have a slide on that after the next slide. So give me just another minute, then I will explain you what reserved words are. Number five, don't use the same name for different variables because Python will always use the data of the most recent variable. The data of the old vari variable will be lost in that case. So for, ex for an example, we have x, the variable x equals five. And after that, below that in our line of code, we write x equals seven. So if we now print out for x, we will always get as an output seven because x equals seven comes after x equals five. Basically means that this storage location of x already got updated with a seven. So if you use the same name 
um, for different content, you will always probably make a mistake. So if you have different content, use different variables. Number six, avoid using capital letters as the first letter of your variable. And number seven, in my opinion, the most important one, the name of a variable is always up to the programmer. But the more descriptive the name of the content is, the easier it is to understand the code for you and for others. So that means that you can be really creative with naming your variables, but they should always describe somehow what is actually the content of that variable. For example, in real life, if I have some apples and I put them into an apple box, I should call it apple box and not peach box. The same principles apply to Python or to the language of Python, because in the end, if you write more complex codes, it just becomes much, much easier for you if you already know what the content is of a variable just by looking actually at the name of it. So now in the end, our reserved words. We can say reserved words are predefined. So they are built in functions or built in code that was done by the Python programmers who develop Python. And every time you call one of the, these functions, the same task will be executed. Always the same task will be executed. Here, the only one so far that you know so far is the del function. So every time we call the del function, something after del in the line of code will be deleted. So we cannot use del as a variable name. And that means you should never use any reserved words for variable names because they have a different task. Congratulations, you have finished another Python video. Please don't forget to make your Jupyter notebook assignment. And we are looking forward to see you in the next video. Goodbye.